All right, so you want to increase your vertical jump. You want to jump like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Mac McClung, Chris Staples, Jordan Kilgannon, all these high flyers, Tyler Curry. You want to jump like these people? All right, I've got a workout for you. My name's Quan. I'm a personal trainer. I have a 44 inch max vert, okay? I can get off the ground. But honestly, though I'm tall, I wasn't the most naturally explosive athlete, so I built my vertical jump through the weight room. And people often say stuff to me like, oh man, you jump like a bodybuilder, you jump like whatever. Hey, you can say whatever you want about my tech. Technique. That's not what this video is about. This is about building enough strength and power to explode and catapult yourself off the ground. So if that sounds good to you, stick around, lock in this workout, save the video, send it to a friend, like, comment, subscribe if you find it useful, and I'm going to get you guys right in the gym. All right? So I guide people in their weight training journeys, I get them in shape, and I help them grow. If you want to work with me online, click down below. Other than that, let's get to the workout and let's have some fun. It's good to be back. Videos coming almost every other day at this point, so let's get to it and let's have some fun. Let's go. First exercise up is the box squat. So with the box squat, you gotta be a little careful. It's easy to go super crazy with the weight, but the heavy weight isn't what matters. Yes, you guys have seen me do five plates before and all that good stuff, but with the box squat, I just want you to start with those feet shoulder width apart, come down, as soon as you tap that bit, that box, explode up, give me some quickness here, come down, explode up as if you're jumping. Really practice that explosive movement that you need to propel yourself off the ground, all right? I always do sets of about five to eight reps, nice and controlled. I'll put it up on the screen, but I've done up to like five, five and a half plates on this because I've generated enough power. I really want you to use those hips to push and explode up. Do about three to four sets and you're gonna feel great, all right? Another exercise that I really enjoy is the rear foot elevated split squat. So for all those people who are trying to improve that one foot bounce, we're gonna go straight down, getting those legs to that 90-90, nice 90 degrees on each side, and explode up. I like to do sets of six to eight, relatively heavy, controlling the weight, pushing through that heel, but giving me a little bit of speed. I want you to think about that knee drive as you explode up. Think about that as you're doing this, all right? Doesn't mean I need you to kick that leg up or anything crazy like that. Just go up and down, nice and controlled, six to eight reps on each leg. Remember, when you're thinking about how you wanna move, it's all about that velocity and that power. We have to build power in the gym. So many people like to train like a bodybuilder when they're training to jump higher. That's not gonna help you in the long run, folks. You've got to push off hard as if you're trying to jump to the moon every time. Train explosive, but safe. That way you can crush it in the gym. I mean, crush it on the court and in the gym. So, I'm trying to get your vertical jump. I love Bulgarian split squats. They're very helpful. All right, let's move on. All right, folks, we're gonna start up with hand clean here, okay? First thing I want you to remember is when you're getting your feet right for the hand clean, put your feet in the position that you would best jump from. So however you jump, that's where I want your feet to be. So I want you to step forward. Just give me a little step, jump, and land. However your feet land, that's the distance I want you to be, okay? Um, as long as it's not too narrow, but you'll, you'll feel it. So get your feet in that position. I want you to come down, get a nice hook grip. Hook grip means taking those thumbs, putting it around the bar. Nice hook grip. We're gonna take this bar from the ground here. We're gonna start from that hang position, so right above that knee. Right above that knee, nice and controlled. Come down, explosively come up, all right? Resting that bar right on the upper part of our chest. Bring it down. Jumping with that bar. And I don't have the best hand clean form, but for me it gets the job done because I'm getting that full extension, getting that body right underneath that bar. What I'd like to see you guys do though, is when you catch that bar, I'd like to see you catch it more in an athletic position. I did not do that there, recovering from a couple of injuries, but I still want to get that movement out for you guys, all right? Still five to eight reps, three to four sets, like everything you've seen here so far. Real smooth, more like a power amount of reps. We're not going hypertrophy, we're just trying to get max effort, move the weight, really get used to exploding. That way, again, you can explode off that ground. Next two movements, and then we're done. And now we're gonna go into a little bit of what I call overspeed training. I learned this from PJ Performance. You're gonna take two bands, put your arms in the bands, we're gonna get some max effort jumps. So as you load, you're gonna sink down, pulling against the bands, and then right when you jump, you're gonna jump up as high as you can, allowing the bands to pull you up. You're gonna get used to jumping higher heights, I want you to have limited contact with the ground and explode up as high as you can. I like to see sets of six with these, okay? Again, it's about pulling those bands, getting that good tension, and that band's gonna help propel you up. Because one of the things people forget when they're lifting weights or training to jump is they forget to jump. They're so, so caught up in lifting or doing a certain movement pattern that they don't actually practice the movement that they need to practice, and that's jumping, all right? So I want you to 
excuse me, to explode up as fast as you can, land, limit that contact with the ground, and explode up. Because in sports, you're gonna have to bank for that rebound, jump for that rebound, jump to catch that football, jump to catch that baseball, whatever your sport is, you're gonna have to move quick. You're not always gonna have time to fully load. So get used to getting that minimal bend and explosiveness. That's so you can generate that power from your hips like we've done in all the movements we've done today, all right? One more movement to go. Again, six reps, three to four sets. Nice controlled, long rest in between so you can really make sure you can get that max maximal height on each jump. Let's move on. All right, folks, last exercise of the day. So we did the overspeed training first. Now we're gonna go into something a little bit more reactive. I want you guys to start bouncing up and down as if you were jump roping, all right? Limiting that contact with the ground, bouncing as fast as you can. And then every 10, eight to 10 jumps or so, I want you to load and explode up with your arms, jumping as high as you can, all right? This is gonna help with your reactiveness and your ability to jump as high as you can at a moment's notice, all right? Do eight to 10 jumps in between, explode up, but do no more than five max jumps. Doing this is gonna help you with your in-game jumping and your situational jumping. In order to get better jumping, you have to do what? Jump, all right? Do no more than five to six reps, three to four sets. Rest a long time in between. Make sure you can get those maximal jumps. Because like I said, we jumped, we've moved under load, we've worked on our hips, we've worked on our reactiveness, we've worked on overspeed training. So that last exercise, excuse me, is about getting all of those things together, putting them together as one. So thank you guys for joining me for a video today. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Click down below for some online coaching. If you're in LA, come visit me at Fist Off Santa Monica. I really appreciate you guys, man. I'm back to making these videos. If you guys need me to do any other content again, you want to see me train some other way, or you want to see me train like another celebrity, or train like an athlete, MMA fighter, whatever, I'll try their training program and give you a review, all right? If you want to work with me, click down below, get some online coaching. Other than that, good to be back, man. I'm going to be putting out at least three videos a week the rest of this month, the rest of July, just to get back to putting out my long form videos, and I'll also be releasing shorts daily as well. Um, <clears throat> for my TikTok audience, guys, <clears throat> TikTok guys, I'm really thankful to be here with you. You know, let me know if you guys want to see me do a series or anything like that. I can maybe make like a little vertical jump program for you guys for like a dollar or maybe two dollars or something like that. So you guys can get better as well. Other than that, I appreciate and love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks.